What is going on? In, uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, everyone? My name is Regan Thompson. You're tuned into the Syndicate Podcast. I'm here with Keaton Mitchell and Dylan Connell. Kind regards, Keaton Regan Thompson twenty three Yak Wheel on Instagram is how you'll find us. You know, in our own in our own scooty lives on Instagram, doing our own scooty Instagram things, or but not so much scooty. Yeah. Or not so much, yeah. but uh, yeah, here now we're coming to you as the Syndicate Podcast. I posted a thing on my Instagram saying anything you mention in the comments here will be brought up on the podcast, and we spent six hours or so trying to get through them last Sunday. We didn't get through them all, and Dylan's got more of them. We're just going to keep uh, ticking them off the list because I promised they would be Disgust, what have we got, Dylan? All right, so Old Dog New Tricks 88 has asked, uh, perhaps you could discuss the reality of sponsorship and what it actually means, what some of the perks versus responsibilities are. For many of those young riders who think sponsorship means a Lamborghini in the driveway and endless endless income uh, the next week. Well, we've all been sponsored and... To be honest, it was a Lamborghini <coughs> in the driveway and endless income, was it not? Was that not your experience? Maybe yeah. theoretical. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, miss, I miss the company card just being issued to me and just taken. The company Lambo. Yeah. No, the company credit card. Who uh, who wants to take the take us? Yeah, I, in on this yeah, one? I can jump in. I would say that. I mean, it obviously depends on the brand. Um, that you're sponsored by and, you know, what they want to provide you and all of that. But I would say my experience is, you know, being sponsored by Native, I was super grateful for everything I got. You know, you flew me to New Zealand. You know, we went to Sydney. So, like, you know, I got to travel. I'd never been overseas, like, things like that. So, you know, it was amazing, you know, like getting paid for a little bit before I ended up leaving. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I, I appreciated every moment of it, you know. It was like... I was so stoked. It wasn't a Lamborghini, but just the little things, like just yeah, knowing yeah. that I'm receiving something from a company for purely scooter riding was... For riding for that company. Yeah, yeah it was, it was a, really you know, awesome. amazing feeling. Yeah. Um, so I definitely think that, like, you know, I guess in, in regards to the question, him asking it, mm. I would imagine he's like, oh, you know, can you maybe like humble some people, I suppose, or make them realize that it's not, you know, everything you may think it is, but yeah. I would say in my experience, it was an amazing, ex- you know, it was really awesome and I you know, but not, loved not it. A, not an endless amount of money and, yeah. a, and yeah. a Lamborghini. Yeah, not, not a living. Like that, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. I think with my experience, because I was on Native also, <laughs> um, well, it's funny because I was on OG Native back in the day. OG and Native. And then Lifeboat, same with Keaton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then that turned into what Native is now. New native. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it was sick. It was fun. I, d- I didn't get to travel as much. Um, I'm not too sure. I just think uh, I was living elsewhere for most of that. Yeah, you were. Um, eventually moved to Brizzy. Yeah. But, yeah, it's fun, like, just being able to, you know, put your work towards something bigger than yourself, I guess. Um, but on the other side of that... Um, you sort of have to ride like their products, which is a given, but sometimes you may want to try something new and, you know, that sponsorship ties you into not having the freedom to choose. Mm, it's that, definitely that's, a commitment. Yeah that's, yeah, that's one of the negatives. Luckily for me, I liked all the Native parts, um, but towards the end of my sponsorship from Native, I sort of wanted to try... You know, different different parts. <laughs> you know, just just for my own own uh, curiosity. Um, yeah, of course. But yeah, so like it can really like push your riding. Um, it's really fun working towards something else rather than yourself. But also, it can be a little bit of a limiting thing mm. in, in the same same time, I guess. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's. Um I wonder, I wonder how I flip it. So, like, the, the reality of sponsorships in there's, like, so many different versions of it. There's people who have a lot 
of leverage in the way of followers and YouTube subscribers or whatever you know metric it it might be these these people build up those followings and stuff which takes a lot of work and they're normally you know doing the the influencer thing like for that and you, you uh, to w- it's you know kind of towards that goal we we're kind of talking about it on um, one of the previous episodes it's like part of just the way of life now like modern technology iPhones and Instagram and stuff like that a lot of people want to be like influencers and stuff yep um, the so there there is like a, a an equation where a scooter rider can like sell a lot of specific scooter parts, get a royalty for that specific scooter part, um, be paid a decent amount of money, like very close to living wage, and in some riders' cases in the industry, like a really good wage. Oh yeah. Um, it, so yeah, there's there's a definitely a level of it where it is like you know Tanner Fox with his. Um, skyline and this and that yep. and when when he was which wouldn't have been purely from you that's know that's exactly what i was gonna say yeah. it's the i mean it could have been he could have sold a lot of lucky completes to yeah and bought that i, I remember us selling a lot of them yeah, yeah, and yeah. the it's, wheels as well yeah, by it, themselves it's not it's not out of the question but also that's that's like, you know, this small, small percentage of sponsorship. And then there's this way larger group where it is like, and this is in, I think, park riding and in street riding, um, big, there's a huge percentage of sponsored riders that are like maybe get paid a little bit, get sent on um, trips, or if their park rider gets sent to competitions, mm-hmm. which is seems to be more of their style of a, of a trip gets maybe some signature products with little bits of, you know, small, like royalties, um, not little bits, but depends on your own um, thing. And I think in park riding, it's very different than street riding. Like in, I feel like in the street scene, you get on a company and it's either because you really back it and even if they're not doing that much for you in terms of, you know, material wealth yeah. and stuff like that, there's that's a big thing in street. It's like, okay, I know this company can't do, can't give me the world, but I, like, really fuck with the mission and, yeah. and I'm down. And that's what a lot of, like, Native and, like, Lifeboat was um, at the start um, and still, still is um, to a degree. But in... Oh, I kind of lost my train of thought. I was going to say... We were saying, and then park riders? like Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, that, yeah, that seems to be a very popular thing in, in street, whereas in park riding, I do see it to be way more goal-driven. That's the goal. That seems to be a lot of the goal of these younger um, park riders. Surely to, for younger to street riders. To get sponsored. Yeah, to get yeah. sponsored. And in that way, the, sponsor sh- the sponsorship doesn't really mean i mean it means a lot to them but not in the same way that i guess like you know you guys when you earlier days getting on native and being a part of that it's not a for the love of it situation it's like for the sponsorship it's for the you know like well just that the the title of being a sponsored rider and then the the payments or the you know the signature parts or the free parts that come with it it's more yeah, of that. I feel like the, the park kids that just want to get sponsored want the status of saying they're sponsored. Well, they can get rorted by these brands because yeah. they don't care what they're given. Because yeah. they just want the status of saying yeah. they're sponsored. Well, that's yeah, why yeah. so many sponsorships have ended up just being people getting some free parts. Mm. You know, a small amount of free parts and the kids are like, I'm sponsored. Yes, this yeah. is what I'm worth. Yeah. And, and then it's... To, you know, like these terrible brands taking advantage of riders and yep. then riders not knowing what they're worth. Yep. yep. Because they may get like a four hundred dollar deck or a couple of four hundred dollar decks, but little do they realize that deck, even though it's worth retail four hundred bucks, mm. it's probably worth a quarter of that to, yeah. the, to the company. Yeah, yeah, to the company, to the shop. Yeah, well, if they're, if the they're on a on company, a company, yeah, like a quarter. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's like a big illusion. They think they're getting a lot 
for their work. And yeah, free parts is sick, mm. but they're not getting the retail value yeah. that they think it is. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. But yeah, it just it just comes down to I th- think like yeah, loving like the the company, the shop, or or the brand. Or if if you don't, I mean, you would hope they would, but like, or getting something really good for it, like a lot of money, or yeah, yeah. a Lamborghini, or yep. a, or a this. But I don't know if that's um really the question. It's like, well, I I guess uh, the reality of the, sponsorship. The reality of sponsorship for those who think it's endless money and Lamborghinis in the yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, no way whatsoever for 99% of yeah. sponsored riders in the scooter industry and every other industry too. Mm-hmm. But that's not actually what everyone thinks it is. I don't think everyone thinks that it's Lamborghinis and no. endless money. No. I think they just want the status of saying they're yeah. sponsored. And yeah. as we know through the interwebs, we actually uh, know the person who commented this mm-hmm. to have to be a, an older rider, older than any of us, or at least maybe my age, and have young kids yep. who ride. And Keaton mentioned this off air that that might be part of the yeah, uh, I can inspiration so. for this question. Maybe yeah. your kids are like, we want to get sponsored, we want to get sponsored. Yeah, and well, yeah, yeah, he has a son who's a pr- pretty good park rider. Yep. I've seen some clips, um, not in a while, okay. but definitely got tricks. And, yeah. you know, so I can imagine that being a, a desire, you know, to see – you know, the dudes on Apex and see the and Envy Riders and all that and be like, mm. wow, I want that. I want to be able to, you know, because... And then there's also so there's the element of social media, which can probably depict, you know, sponsorship to be um, a lot more than it is. Or, you know, you can see riders like... Riders on Envy mm. and you'd be like, wow, that's sponsorship. These guys are going to this country and this country and, you know, you know it looks so glamorous, but then they're like, then, I don't know, some random company like fox pro scooters wants to sponsor them and like yes and then they get you know nothing like that yeah, as well so it can yeah. you know maybe they're looking at riders of these like top tier brands but that's you know it takes a lot to obviously become a part of one of those brands um and yeah so the reality for them in another company that they end up getting picked up by might yeah let them down yeah, in that yeah, aspect. yeah. oh for sure but like i was kind of saying i don't think after half of the people would be yeah. let down. Yeah. They'd be like, you know, yes, oh my god. Like yeah. I got I got freaking sponsored, whether yeah. it's Fox Pro Scooters or sorry if Fox Pro Scooters is like <laughs> legit nowadays, but I do remember it as a pretty cringy bad yeah. <laughs> a good example of a really bad brand. Um Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. That's okay. And like a, another example of kids not caring is obviously my Instagram handles Yak Wheel. Mm. The amount of DMs I've gotten from kids thinking I am the Yak Wheel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. asking for sponsorships, <laughs> and it's like, yeah. dude, do you want to ride plastic core one hundred and like hundred millimeter wheels? Goes yeah. to my point. They do yeah. not care. Like they just yeah. want to get sponsored. I remember what I was going to say. Of saying, I'm Damn it! It would cost so much for Yak to sponsor riders. Imagine how many wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you yeah. start selling them sponsor packages. <laughs> oh, my God. Proteus. How, how many yeah. kids come up to you at skate parks? Mm. First thing they ask, are you sponsored? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's a status symbol. Man. They don't care if you actually sp- – like, you know, I'd be doing a board slide on a rail and they're like, oh, my God, are you sponsored? And yeah. it's like they don't care how good I am. They don't care about anything mm. other than, the, like, yes or no, like, are you yeah. sponsored? We are, like, riffing – right now on like the age old freaking discussion in yeah. scootering. This is like, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Proteus, if anyone remembers that, that to, mm-hmm. m- to me, the way I remember it, that is it was the meme where they had like shirts and hats and grip tape, maybe even wheels or something. And they would sponsor someone, um, which means, hey, look, we sell all this stuff for a hundred dollars for a package you can get it for seventy five dollars, and, and that's your sponsorship. And people would buy that, wow, and receive it, and be like, then post their Instagram. Just received my Proteus package. I'm so stoked. I yep. got like I got sponsored, and that's just that shit crazy. That's that's insane. insane. Like, I didn't I didn't even know that was how it worked. You didn't know that's Such a, a thing. No. It's it's not just in scootering. Like I get you know 
got a Instagram account for our dog, King Rufus. Look it up. <laughs> so cute photos. And you get messages from, hey, just sliding in your DMs. Oh, wow, so cute. Saw your dog. Um, we can do you this at 50% off if you want to be an ambassador. And it's like the page has got like 100 followers. Yeah. It's not like yeah. he, he's not an influencer dog. Yeah, no. They are not trying to get promotion from us. They're trying to play on the fact that people love the idea of being influencers mm. and they're trying to, like, sell you a dog harness at 50% off. Yeah. But their 50% off is actually they're making their full margin that they want to yep. make. So yep. if all of their sales are at 50% off to people that they're telling are going to be influencers, they're happy. And yep. that's, like, the shit that, you know, pro tiers, uh, like that kind of... Mm -hmm example yeah if you have to try and get sponsored if you have to reach out to the companies you're not good enough to be sponsored you're not ready well i no i don't i don't know if i agree with that because i know writers mm -hmm. who do, do that and are amazing scooter riders and reach out to companies that maybe just aren't aware of scootering mm -hmm. Or, you know or of okay. scooter riders yeah, 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 so yeah, i've seen yeah. people like you know do that you know people who know their worth mm. And yeah, like, you know, they do the reaching out themselves and it, I know sometimes it's worked and sometimes it hasn't worked. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I would say not all the, t not all the time, you know, a company has to offer yeah, it to you. Yeah. I, I mean, sponsor like me so tapes and all of that, like back in the day, you know, people putting out like sponsor me tapes. Yeah. I think some like top tier writers who may have like lost a sponsorship, you know, could go to a company and just ask. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because there's a lot of good writers that yeah. aren't. That yeah. Obviously, you can catch me out on that statement with the with the this and the that. I suppose you mean but people who like haven't been sponsored before or have nothing to really show their worth other than their own perception yeah. of themselves being I, like I I'm worth it. In regards to what you said about reaching out for a sponsorship, mm. I think it's not that they're, you know, not good enough for a sponsorship. I think that's not the attitude to have to mm. get a sponsorship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it looks so bad to a company if. Like you were like hitting them up, being like, "Yeah, can I please get sponsored?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, just ride for fun, and you'll get sponsored if you really push yourself and if you have a following. Mm. I think a lot of kids don't realize that it's not just about your skill level. You know, it's about your reach. How can you mm. sell more of our products? Yeah. Like, mm. would we benefit, make more money by having you on the team? And if you're a kid that is killing it, but you've got like 400 followers, like. It's you not going to do that. Might not fit their version of what they need. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's a Don't double have the reach that they want. It's a double sided thing. Like, yeah, yeah, you're getting support because you're a good scooter rider, but also because you can sell products. Mm. And you might be a good scooter rider, but if you can't sell more products, then it's just not going to, it's not going to, you're not going to be an interest to that brand. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I wanted to transition into this because, yeah, I've thought about this quite a lot. Even with riders who um, are sponsored. And the element of like, oh, what am I worth? You know, thinking that they're worth more than what companies providing them and stuff like that. Um, the way that I've come to look at sponsorship is n is more of a brand promoter. Like that's mm -hmm. what you are. Like you are there to help the brand have more reach, mm -hmm. and the brand will support you for doing that. You know, and give you what you're worth. So yeah, like you said, you know, if you've got no followers, you're not going to be create like generating more sales for that company. So. What, yeah. what is your worth then? Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. don't have any worth for that company, you know, so like they shouldn't really, they don't necessarily need to give you anything, yeah, you yeah. know, so. Like if they've got more followers than you? No, no, if they, I'm saying if like, if you only have 400 followers, like that company, like there's no reason why they would need to give you money because you're not making any them yeah, any money. Well, That's what could, it's supposed to kind of be a trade-off. If they give you money, then they get your clips and then they post your clips from their account that has 100,000 yeah, well, yeah, okay, followers. There's, so there's, there's like, that, that you element. Know, companies need the good shit that writers make. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the, like, yeah. you know, in case anyone didn't know, the lifeblood of our whole fucking industry, <laughs> the writing. Yeah. 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 Um, but, like, yeah. there's so many new... Like elements like you were talking about before um influencing and whatnot yeah, 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 you know yeah. if like you're an influencer i i personally think that it, i probably wouldn't have agreed with myself in the past yeah, but yeah, yeah. i feel like yeah you are worth more because you're doing so much to bring in those sales you know mm -hmm. what i mean you're doing the scootering you're and you know whatever else you're doing it's you know you're gaining hype you're, you've got 
you know, if you accumulated a couple hundred thousand followers, yeah. like that's what a company needs. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And like, yeah, I feel like if, if it's generating more, if you're generating more sales, then you should be kind of receiving more. Yeah, that's definitely a thing to, um, you know, it, not aim for. It's fu- it's funny like saying that, but if yeah. you know, if you're like, that is a, it's a powerful tool. Yeah, it's a powerful it doesn't have to be influencing necessarily. Like you don't yeah. have to go out there and do no. vlogs, but no, it's just no, like. Yeah. What are you like? How many times are you posting right. on your story? You know what I mean. Like, the what other are you? Thing is good clips. Yeah. A good, yeah. Exactly. A good clip. Mm-hmm. Uh, whip to five o to heel down a twenty stair handrail. <laughs> you yeah. know. You're gonna get followers. Ooh, that well, yeah. you're gonna get sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not really, because <laughs> even in the street thing, there's a lot of like, you know, I see a million dudes, different dudes every every month that I'm like, this guy is. Like, I've never seen him before. His account is in my feed. He is, um, pr- like, writing is absolutely insane, but, like, I'm not – that doesn't make me go and yeah. sponsor him. And yeah. something I was going to try and uh, try and squeeze in there is that for the last 10 years, I have run and then owned scooter companies. Um, so that run, street and park, unfair scooters, route industries – Scooter Hut, but not in a team management way. Lifeboat, Native, Syndicate Store. I don't think I have ever sponsored someone who asked. Yeah. Every and, and if I went back over the last ten years, out of all those people, there's quite quite a few. Uh, a lot of the yeah. team is, you know, a lot of the people, Reece, like Nathan, homies. you know, they were from the start yeah. and stuff, so they were on like all those yeah. like companies that I was running along the way and stuff. But there has been. Uh, dudes drop off and dudes come in along the way mm-hmm. you guys included i never sponsored someone who asked to my memory yeah. there might be you know a dm from you once upon a time saying will you sponsor <laughs> me <laughs> uh, probably not well i, I can't imagine you ever i um, think back in the, that back in the day when i left the first version of native yeah and then you started i think you started life but before i left yeah and i left native and i was like well, we were both on native before. Like, do you have a spot on lifeboat? Yeah, I think that'd be yeah. a better fit. Mm. But also, you're a, more of an exception to the rule because of that unique um, situation. Yeah, yeah, but for the, sure. the, the the gist of but like native what is I'm a saying y- is none of those. Yeah, none of the riders that came into the fold came into the fold from like pestering me in yeah. the DMs or yeah, anything like sure. that. It was, and, and that's just I've yeah along the way sponsored a lot of people. Yeah, and none of them were, none of them got a Lamborghini. No. Also, but also, yeah, none of them came, like through the DM. Yeah, it was all through something more meaningful. Yeah, but, like, but Native is unique in that way mm-hmm. as well. Like, you know, up and pretty much up until I suppose the US guys, it was like every anybody everyone who like knew local everyone. knew like yeah. you know them, you're like Not close knew homies with them. Lived within 20 minutes yeah. of each other and stuff yeah like yeah, yeah. i was gonna say maybe not kevin but then even kevin he moved to brisbane and then, and then you sponsored him yeah. yeah well wait oh no, no, wait, no, no kai was on native while, while, while in sydney, sydney. Yeah, but yeah. but he was coming yeah, but, yeah, but, he, <laughs> but he was coming up a lot as well you know what yeah. i mean like and and you would obviously you know we had hung out with him a lot you know so like i can tell you now kai was never in my dm trying to get sponsored yeah. by syndicate like i reached no. out to him yeah like you, companies look around and and that you know when you're ready you will be contacted don't call them they'll call you yeah like, for sure but and i don't want to be too brutal but it's like yeah there's like it's been talked about for any time a you know podcast or video or like of talking and scootering has come up like this over the last few years because there has been people for all different corners of the globe who have started similar things like this and this is a thing that comes up is the sponsorship because it's the age-old thing in, yeah in scootering mm. um so this has probably all been said before um but not by us so yeah uh, but I, I was just gonna say like we do need to consciously educate and train the younger ones that we meet and talk to and when they come up and this is some shit like Reese would do if some kid comes up to him and goes are you sponsored he wouldn't even answer he'd yeah. be like why are you asking me that <laughs> yeah, yeah. do you think that's uh, a good thing to aim for is that why you're asking me that are yeah. you going to treat me different because of that yeah. and he'll just 
to teach them maybe some other times to be like, go away, I'm running. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, just to use him as an example, but mm-hmm. we, you know, everyone needs to maybe, yeah, start really thinking of like educating the, the younger ones and like just Definitely. stop playing that game. It's not the game to play. Like mm. just scooter and love scootering. Well, and I don't know. I would say that there's an element of, I spe- I, this is a, I suppose more to the older yeah. guys um, or girls, you know, you, you want to make a living at a certain point, you yeah. know, you want to make some income, you yeah. want to scooter more and work less, yeah. you know what I mean? So, so the, the element of sponsorship can like come you know into mind yeah, there yeah, of because you're like, yeah. all right, I want to, yeah. Yeah. I guess I was talking about, I was talking about educating the younger. Yeah. yeah you, that, you were, that side of um, the generation, but just but the, yeah. like, you know, like just, like stop thinking about it. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, just yeah. that element. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I think don't just don't throw it off the table. I would say that's yeah. an amazing mentality to have, but it can get to a point where you start to get a bit older and, you know, you've got to start making an income and things yeah. like that. And you're like, Oh, like, how can do I, I do get, this? And I think, but I think passion. there are tasteful ways to do that. And like yeah. I said before, like, it's like, what are you, what are you going to give the company? So I would say to anybody who is trying to do that, yeah, take yeah, it seriously. Yeah. 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 You know, you got to think about that. Yeah, you got to have a think about what it takes to do that. You know, like obviously your writing has to be a certain level and then, you know, like your your reach and, you know, what you do outside of scootering and like, you know, your influence that you have on the people around you and the people of social media. Like, you know, you just got to really I, I, I think that you could take it seriously, yeah. you know, and really try and get that. Um, so that you can make an income and so you, that, you know, scootering can be your fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I see riders, uh, there's a rider that I've been watching lately cause he's a really steezy park rider and he always rides apex stuff and he always tags him and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, this dude is definitely like, I, I don't, I'm not a park connoisseur, but I'm like, dude, you look like you're good enough to be sponsored by apex, but I don't think he is, he's but he's different. tagging them and he's riding yeah, all their yeah. parts. And he's like, you know, posting daily yeah. and I think he's got a decent reach. So I'm like, yeah. that's how you yeah, kind of yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. There's obviously yeah. cringe elements to that. I've seen people who, you know, yeah. are a bit cringe and like tagging people in their posts and stuff like that. I don't know about tagging, but like repping the company before, yeah, you know, and really yeah. making it known, like I want to back this company. You yeah. know what I mean? I think that's pretty legit, yeah. you know, yeah. because it, it obviously shows that you're passionate about a certain company as well. And you're not willing to just take any sponsorship that's given to you. Yeah. You're like, no, that company, the riders or the parts or whatever. It's like, yeah. Tommy it's, like, Dang. it's like David Parsons always backs native. Yeah, yeah for I sure. I was going to use that as an example. Like native is not like looking for riders. Um, but someone like him, if I was like, Oh man, I need, like a rider, mm. like for some reason, Native just needed more riders. Which to make it clear to anyone watching, we don't. We're stacked. We got a, a lot. Please, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but if through some, you know, for some reason, I was like, oh my god, I, you know, need more, um, need need a, need a new team rider. Like, oh, we're dropping off. <laughs> Who's gonna come I, to I mind? Know, it's such a weird hyper yeah, hypothetical, yeah. but. Yeah. He's your dude. He, he's ready to roll. Yeah, he yeah. He rides our products. He tags us in everything. Uh, he has he a new is. order at Syndicate or Native every <laughs> week, pretty much. Like I, I'm sending <laughs> well, him that's decks. That's kind of sad. You don't have to just buy heaps to. Yeah. No, but I think he's riding, he uh, rides and also he's he, he likes his scooter parts. I think I think he's really like yeah. into just having different parts and that's, things like that. That's so. just an example of where I'd be like, look, I don't I don't need to sponsor anyone, but if for some weird reason I need to sponsor someone, who's at the top of my mind? I yeah. mean, who came up when we're yeah. sitting here thinking about sponsorship? Uh, yeah. Boom, that's a guy who like... 100%. Whether someone reached out to him trying to sponsor him or not, he doesn't give a shit. He loves what he's doing and yeah. he's just doing it. That's yeah. the people yeah. you mm-hmm. sponsor. Also, what I was going to say before we get cut off in... 20 seconds. Yeah. Um, hold on. Uh, hold that thought. Should we just press start and stop? You were saying? Yeah. So also what I wanted to say with a sponsorship is, you know, everyone rides scooters for fun. Mm-hmm. That's a given. Otherwise you wouldn't do it. A sponsorship can very easily turn that fun into an obligation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got over when I was sponsored and I'd like the freedom of being unsponsored. Yeah. That's why I stopped getting sponsored too. I was just over it. <laughs> just, yeah. No, no other reason. You don't, you don't want to be obligated to scooter. You want to do it because you want to. And obviously, both of those two things can line up. But if you're getting, if you're 
paid like with a contract. I'm just you, such a hard person to <laughs> ride for. You are both like, oh, I've fucking opted out of that shit. Well, if, I had a kid. If you're paid, because <laughs> a lot of contracts that I've like, you know, because a lot of my friends are sponsored by brands. A lot of contracts will say, you know, this many Insta clips a week, mm-hmm. this many videos a year, yada, yada, yada. I know there's... Um, a lot of writers that don't need to do that because they might have a different relationship with the company owner or mm. whatnot. But a lot of companies, especially like the corporate ones, they will request that. Otherwise, they're going to, you know, reduce your pay or cut yeah. your pay or... Reduce you your know. pay or reduce the amount of free parts that you get because you don't actually get paid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, let's say you might be low on clips or whatnot instead of wanting to go out and film those clips, you now have to do it yeah. to get your money yeah, or to get yeah, your yeah. package or mm. yep. whatever. So keep that in mind. Like sponsorships, they're sick, but they can also turn that fun into an obligation. Mm. It's funny because like I have memories of feeling like, you know, even though when like in this era of my mindset, you know, being sponsored by Native, definitely not, um, there was no obligations, mm. but feeling feeling, you know, personally, like, you know, like, okay, I want to, yeah. you know, Do more. F- you know, I remember filming for the native video, um, 2018 video and being like, Oh, like stressing in myself. Cause I'm like, I'm not keen, but I feel like I need to. Uh, and so looking back though, I'm like, you know, even if I felt like I had to go out and ride, isn't that such a good thing to have to go do? You know what I mean? But but in yeah. the moment, you know, you, you don't really think of it like that. You're like, oh, I have to, even though I don't <laughs> want to. This is making me, I suppose, like bummed on scootering because it's like I'm not doing it for the fun of it. I'm doing it because I have to. But, yeah, in hindsight, it's like, oh, I would have, I would be, like, stoked to feel like I have to go scooter yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, because I don't feel like I can do that enough or, you know, like um, it just seems like a funny thing to be bummed about in hindsight. But yeah. I understand that in the moment, you know, you feel what you feel, but. Because yeah. a, a lot of kids obviously will do it regardless. Uh, you know, us, you know, we do it whenever we can. It's fun. But there's some times where you need to take a little break from scootering. Mm. Yeah. Where, where well, yeah, like... You if, can't when you're sponsored. If you have, like, daily post obligations or weekly, like, what happens if you have an off week and, you know, you're feeling a bit low and, you know, like, you, go, you I don't know, you have family stuff on or whatever and they're like, no, we need, like, a story from you every well, single day. Professional you know. has their content back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, stacked, built yeah. up. Yeah, in the bank, yep. ready to ready to roll for any potential. That's that's the hard times. thing about about you know still got to make that content. At, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. just two days of work in like yeah. the day before. Like yeah, still, if you if you if you're work. smart about it, I mean like uh, oh no, I'm saying like just you know banking up content doesn't. You still had to make that content. Yeah, yeah, like, but but you make yeah. you make it while you're enjoying it, so that yeah, yeah, when you have yeah. those moments where you're not so hyped, like that, that's a complex end of this. Um, you know the the sponsorship yeah. um, reality, but I love it. I love that mm. we're getting so like into the nitty gritty of this, and we've got like a fresh, <laughs> fresh um, uh, timer, and we've stopped and started. I'm keen to keep going. Yeah, sorry <laughs> if I cut you off. Um, I was gonna I was gonna say. Uh, Will Scott is somebody who comes to mind who has... And I want uh, to say Tommy Dang and remind me after. Yep. Uh, he's somebody who, you know, he's probably got obligations. Yep. I'm not sure what they are, but, you know, he's posting, but he'll post snippets of videos that he's, mm-hmm. you know, already produced and, like, kind of highlighting things that happen, that have happened in the past or, like, yep. story clips of, you know, sessions that happened. Yep. You know, so, you know, he's, like, utilising things that he's already done while he's probably not, or, in, you know, at a moment in time when he's not producing content so much, but, you know, he's being smart about it in that regard. So, yeah, you, there's things that you could obviously do if you were in that situation yeah. to meet those obligations. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys aware of the Tommy Dang Fasten story? No. No. So you knew, know Tommy Dang wrote yes. for Fasten? Yes. Um, yeah. I- iconic. Yeah. Like um, collaboration there. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he was friends with, Brendan Smith, who was the d- d- top yep. dog of Fasten, and um, there was just this, it was this thing for years and years and years of him being a high profile, lots of followers, big um, video parts, or maybe he didn't do big video parts because he, I think he did like a really big video part that took a long time, but anyway, he was just in the spotlight all the time and he would travel like crazy so he was at all these comps all around the world and just 
amazingly talented, unique rider, a park rider that I always yeah. was like that. He's to the, he's the archetype of like how park riding needs. To be yeah, like, I'm sorry. I'm just now now I'm just like throffing. Yeah, um, no, I, day, I agree. But he's amazing. Um, but yeah, it was like I don't know three or four years, like some a massive amount of time that he was massively in the spotlight, riding fast and stuff, like promoting fast and like he was on fast and before he got on. Wow, true. Fast and I'm pretty sure that's the true. Uh, how it went, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Or was it MGP? No, it wasn't Maggie. It doesn't. He never. Doesn't make sense. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he was ever. Did he ever had a? Have a I MGP remember him being unsponsored for a long time. Yeah, dude. Like when like I first met, when I first, saw, I didn't meet him, but I first saw him riding Ramp Attack one time, and I think I heard somebody say his name, and that's yeah, who, yeah, I, yeah. who I, how I knew. Yeah, yeah, who Tommy yeah. Dang was. Yeah. Um, I remember, yeah, him being, like, not on anybody for a long time. Like, before he'd ever been sponsored, yeah. possibly. Like, so it could be Mad Gear. Yeah. Because I now, swear now I... Knew- I don't really want to look it up because I, I, I might be butchering it. the whole True. story. But the uh, essence of it is I remember him just, like, spending years, like, yeah, yeah not... Um, I've, I've also seen it, you know... Not accepting... Uh, he would have been getting flooded with other mm. opportunities is what yep, I'm trying right. to say. And he was like, no, I'm... Yeah, I swear it was, like, known amongst the community that he was like, no, nah, I'm not after that, that, or that. Yeah. I've got what I want yeah. in mind, like, and he went for that. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I don't think you can pay me enough to ride for a brand I don't want to ride for. Mm. Like, so You could maybe, like, it would be in the high, high millions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, let's be real, a couple thousand a week maybe, but... <laughs> Well, that's why I think it's different for park riders also. I will just quickly say, because, like, in my personal opinion, park riding parts haven't developed like crazy. They're like, all very similar. Could be on all any the dimensions are the same company. I could be on a Fusion deck, an Apex deck, or, you know, and, I, I, See, again, I could be totally like, wrong. Any of them watching that, they're yeah. like, oh, my God, I have a wheelbase <laughs> on the, 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 yeah. this on the, the way. Or I think of, like, same Lucky. Way we are acting about street parts. But, like, I, but I, no, I've seen park parts. It's all right. You know, you obviously know working mean, at Syndicate that's... and you, you put up two different brands and you're like, they're both completely flat sides and just rectangle head tubes. Yeah. Like, you know, they're, they're, they can be quite similar. So, yeah. Um, one that I want to call out is like Lucky for being one of the freaking biggest, gnarliest like park companies. They, uh, when I look at their parts, I'm just like not inspired. No. And I'm just like, man, like look at, some of the ethic stuff yeah. and go back to the drawing board and make your <laughs> yeah. riders some, some of the, the parts. Like, it's insane. Some yeah. of the best park <laughs> parts <laughs> are, are st- from street brands. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Well, yeah. The Aztecs and ethics. Like the yeah. Circa yeah. Forks, the Pandemonium. Yeah. Like yeah. I think, you know... The, the Advent Refined deck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that could be. I wish... Definitely. Park. Definitely for a big... I, I've I've recommended it to, like, some it's park riders because it's, like, a 5.5 five by 21... Refined tiny. is is tiny for you know a, a seventeen year old, eighteen year old, mm. like, and it's super light. And there was that dude in um, America riding the Saundizi, and he also rode a lilac mm. refined, and he seems to be riding way more street now. Yeah. Um, but he was like, I think he had a backyard ramp. Or yeah, something. I remember that actually. Crazy like yeah. park dog, and he would always like tag us in yeah. in, in his stuff, and I would so see sick. like, man, and I would share it because I'm just like. Yeah, just so everyone knows, like, yeah. these street parts we're building, we're making them as light as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, ended up talking about scooter parts yeah. instead of well, look the at reality of sponsorships. Yeah. Well, look at Woody. <laughs> look, Woody's so good at park riding, makes it look sick. No yeah. excuse. Get on bigger scooters, park riders, please. Woody's a good example. Well, he's... Of sponsorship. Yeah. The actual topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he came to the street jam... Absolutely killed it. Blew everybody's minds. No one could, like, believe what they were seeing. And I heard mates that he was with on the day calling him Woody, Woody, Woody. And I remember Donnie from Australian Skateboarding Association telling me maybe 12 months before this or maybe even two years before this, he was like, dude, there's this scooter rider from Toowoomba. He's insane. His mm-hmm. name's Alex Woodbridge. You need to sponsor him. I could, like, find the message in wow. Facebook from like years and years ago now and i was like um he's like man he does like backflips like <laughs> and i was like tuned out like i'm yeah. not you interested like, in yeah 
the local kid who can backflip. Like. But, but at the street jam, I just, when I heard them saying Woody, 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 I was like, for some reason I always remembered that name Donnie said. And I yep. was like, Woody Woodbridge. Is this that freaking kid that he was telling me about? Yep. And Woody's whole family is like insanely talented in like whatever they do. They're True. Like in bath- yeah, yeah. And like his cousins and stuff. True. Like, Pro footy players and like oh, okay, yeah, I had no uh, idea. Actually, I don't know about pro pro, but yeah, like yeah. high level, yeah. the top dogs, um, yeah, and yeah, Street Jam. He just killed it. Would have like cashed up that day, and at the time, we were just receiving prototypes of the first stem complete. Yeah, and I knew that he rode park and therefore <coughs> smaller um, scooters. So mm-hmm. he had a, a even though he had a native, he had the smallest. Uh, native he could get and i was like he'll ride a 525 because we had other testers but i wanted to make sure the stem complete was so so good <laughs> nah, it is good <laughs> i wanted to make sure that it was genuinely good enough for a real high street yeah, yeah. H- hardcore street rider yeah and not just the younger kids that it's made for so one of the prototypes needed to go to someone who was ruthless and i was like hey dude like killed it at the street jam are you interested in helping us make sure this scooter is good and he got sent one and then i was like man you're actually so i sent him one he's like yeah it's really good and i was like man you're actually killing it i want to make a video with this scooter um would you come to brisbane and oh, i'll come to, to toowoomba sometimes would you come to brisbane and let me film you testing the scooter that's yep. going to be the video that comes out you can watch that video on yeah. YouTube, Native STEM video. That is the story of Woody becoming sponsored yeah. by us. How did, how did you know, in the reality of sponsorship, how did he get sponsored? He, like, just shredded so hard that it, he was unignorable. Yeah. He came to my mind when, yep. when a company owner was like, I need someone to make sure this part is good, but it didn't suit the size of the rest of my team. Yeah. So yeah. That's not no, exactly 100%. the re- reality of being sponsored maybe it's the real reality of how to get sponsored yeah. is just absolutely killer yeah. Like, yeah well what's funny about that is um so back in the day 2016 uh sydney street jam we had this group called oz smx memes oh my and god and um so when i was <laughs> forgot about that group dude <laughs> still there <Group>. skulls <laughs> um oh, private group <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so when I was filming this as scootering, I was like, let's, you know, bring it up, have a look. Yeah. And we're all in Melbourne. And we saw a post from you in that group. Oh, and it's I'm going to have to delete this from the podcast. <laughs> uh, it's me roasting. Uh, no, yeah, we, we right, saw a yeah. post from you in that group in 2016. And it was you saying, check this fucking kid out. And it was Woody. No. In a good yeah. way. In a good way. No. <gasps> yeah. So 2016. Wow. That was might have been. From Donnie? When Donnie told me about it. Yeah, and I so said... maybe I did... Maybe I was like, oh, my God, this guy's crazy. Well, or yeah. maybe I went back... Was well, It, it well, would have been park. <coughs> yeah, it did, like, some kid. crazy, like, yeah, combos and, and yeah. airs and whatnot. But, you know, it, it was worthy of a post. And not not anything's worthy of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Woody was. Prestigious. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even notice, but, like, I was scrolling through while Woody was behind me. And Woody was like, wait, fucking go back up. What the fuck? That's me. And I was like, I hope Regan's not talking shit, but you weren't. Wow. Yeah, I was scared for a second. I was like, was I like, oh my God, look at this trash park. Right Donnie's now. trying to get me onto this. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Oh God, wow. That's so crazy. crazy. Story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that's such a cool story of mm-hmm. such a natural way for someone to end up like, yeah, he's in the pipeline for like signature products. He's like filmed with us and been on trips with us mm-hmm. for years now. Like, and it all started from just him shredding and, and yep. me being like, Hey man, you want to like test out these products for us? And never to my memory or knowledge, did he ever reach out and yeah. ask to get yeah. like sponsored. Like, so um, we I, came to him. Cause I we just, could not ignore him. I just thought of something uh, on a, mm. the other end of the spectrum kind of, and that's actually my experience mm. with getting on lifeboat and um, you know, like I had only just met you probably a couple months, you know. Been riding together for a couple months. Yeah. Ago. But like the reason that I got sponsored by Life but wasn't because I w- wasn't because I was a fucking incredible scooter rider with, you know, all of the tricks That's and like the throwing was. down. But it was because 
you know, I met you and then we went out riding like every single day, yeah. you know, as soon as we met and you were filming for your part and, you know, I was just joining the sessions and I was just like in amongst it constantly yeah. every day. Yeah. Then, you know, we obviously become friends. And so then we're riding more often, hanging out more often. And, you know, it's just through that. And then you starting, you know, lifeboat Life and, yeah. um, you know, it happened naturally. Yeah. Again, not, not because I don't of, know if I even asked you or just, no, like, you just posted one day yeah. and that like, I was like at home pretty much like, crying <laughs> of like joy I'm on a scooter company, yeah like, um were you trying to get sponsored at the time i no. he he was calculating <laughs> <laughs> i was definitely like freaking started a company you know what i mean like I'm if i'm like, with him every day yeah no, no <laughs> not saying that i would expect it but i was like if i like keep you know mm. if i yeah, yeah, really yeah. Yeah. pick up my game yeah, kind of yeah, thing yeah. you know what i mean and like and i think i i think that part of the reason that you did put me on is because I probably was, prog that was mm. probably a time of, you know, cause I had been riding by myself for many years. I yeah, had no yeah. scooter friends yeah. and, you know, so right starting to ride with you and Reese and Nathan and all the boys, obviously my riding started to yes, pick up yeah. and I started to kind of get some things. It definitely and, did. I remember yeah. the Preds. Um, the, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that, that wasn't, again, it's just, on the other end of the spectrum, yeah. I didn't get sponsored because I was doing gnarly stuff, but it's because I was out yeah. every single day. I was a, I was amongst it, you know what I mean? I, um, I would add to that and say like, and please don't take this the wrong way, <laughs> but it was definitely not the skill. Yeah, yeah. It was the like friendship and yeah. the brotherhood yeah. and the like you were helping me do what I was trying to do and I yep. was then filming you and then use it, you know, using yeah. the clips. And I think we were also on like the same mental tip, you know, like yeah. we are obviously growing outside of scootering a yeah. lot in that element. So it was like, I get then and maybe the mentality I, I had. Vegan at and the time too. And yeah. you were vegan, vegan at the time too. So we were like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, then so still vegan. <laughs> no, no, I'm not vegan anymore. Was vegan for seven years. Seven years from then. Anyway, um, so. But, you know, so then in that element, it was more so the mentality, you know, yeah, than, yes. than yeah, the yeah, scootering that, itself. That, sorry, yeah, that's what I was saying is it was like, and I have always like um, felt that with like, uh, you know, sponsoring in teams and companies. Like I, the people on Native are like insanely talented. Like writers. coincidentally good. Yeah. Like, that's not the reason they're on. That's just a coincidence. Skill level, <laughs> like, is, is it's really not. Like, yeah. maybe it plays more into the uh, US team because I don't, like, hang out with all them. So, obviously, yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, they they will, you know, firstly, they will seem like sick people. Yeah. There, you know, skill level, okay, yeah, that's there. But for the, you know, native Oz team, everyone's like, I mean, obviously, like, I'm aware of, yeah, the skill and stuff, mm. but... And I it's think that naturally so kind of comes more when you're yeah, building it. Yeah. I feel like team. people also get drawn together who are kind of on the same level yeah. as well. You know what I mean? So it would have been natural that like, you know, you're around these good scooter riders and then they have like, you know, mentalities that you appreciate and, you know, like personalities that you get along with and stuff like that. Like, but the, the skill, I would say that would have naturally kind of, you'd be surrounded by riders of the same kind of skill level. I, that's what so. I was going to say as well. Like, you're trying to get on a brand and like mainly a you know rider own street brand or street yeah. brand you know you're gonna want to get along with the riders on the team like yeah, it's all about such a big part of yeah it. like if because usually the company owner is going to hit up the rider and be like what do you think about yeah. this dude as an addition to the team and if you know the fucking riders say like nah he's whack like don't like his personality don't get along with him then you're probably not going to get on the team yeah so mm. It's all about like friendship and getting along with people. Like you're a mm -hmm. team. Like you're not like eight solo riders. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a like the word team is used for a reason. I yeah. feel yeah for sure. Um, I was gonna say Nathan when I sponsored Nathan all those years ago. Um, on unfair. Yeah, yeah, on unfair. That's when he first got sponsored by a company I um, ran, and he had. You know, school starting at 9 o'clock. I had work starting at 9 o'clock, but he was at my door, like, f you know, 15-year-old Nathan knocking at my door at um, 7 a.m. to go riding before school. Oh, my God. And that's, like, all I needed. Yeah. I was like, this guy's 
he's he's ready. This is yeah. you know, and this is a way different time. We're talking ten yeah ten years ago yeah. and when I, scooter riders were like sponsored scooter riders were like all a lot younger and stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, like yeah, this yeah, scene yeah. wasn't as mature as it I is today. Scooter yeah. before school, but not nowadays really. don't. Don't knock on my door at 7 a.m. <laughs> As a 15 year old. I'm not getting you sponsored. But then it was like, um, you know, I was like, and I was better than him. I was teaching him how to ride. Wow. And he quickly, like, I was like, all right, like, yep, you're on. We're doing this. Like, you're, you're here. We're building this company. You fit. Let's, let's roll. And he just went, vroom. Yep. Like, you know, wow. nowadays maybe I'm coming back and you know, I've got, got some tricks you don't yeah. got, Nathan. Um, but, yeah, at, there was a time when he was, you know, my, like young grasshopper and put him on and he just like just, yeah, went. And that was just purely because like he was showing like the determination mm -hmm. and like, yeah, yeah. It's a cool, cool way to get sponsored. Yeah. yeah, it has to happen very naturally. It, I guess I was just highlighting that it was not about skill. Yeah. Skill level. Like, he wasn't, like, a technically even for a 15-year-old at the time, like, you know, a lot of – still very normal for 15-year-olds to get sponsored. Like, yeah. most companies then, most companies uh, – his skill level then, most other companies wouldn't have sponsored him. He wasn't, mm. like, at that level yet. But I sponsored him before he got to that level because yeah. I saw that it was going to yeah. happen. And that was the same – with you yeah so yeah so in saying all of this what would we say to kind of sum up the i suppose mm. the question you know the reality uh, of yeah, sponsorship summary, and yeah. yeah like what would what would we say like uh, you know i think <coughs> the, the 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 reality of sponsorship is it's sick but it can also not be fun at all times mm. i think because of the obligation sorry yeah because the obligations yeah um but you wanna you wanna find a, a fit. You don't wanna like just get sponsored for the sake of it. You wanna you want your sponsorship to not affect your scooter riding in any way. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how I would sum it up. And yeah, if you can like mesh in unless to it's the in opportunity, bettering it. If yeah. you can mesh into the opportunity without having to be any different and change too much and stuff and still be true to yourself and yeah. just loving the parts stuff and the obligations like if they're like yeah you got to film one video part a year but you love the idea of filming one video part a year that's yeah that's yeah and just don't don't aim for it don't make that your like end goal for scootering like yeah. always scooter for fun like who cares if you're sponsored or not like yeah free parts are cool money's cool but you know just ride for fun and mm -hmm. if, if you deserve it you will get it yep. yeah i would say know your worth you know, if you so are like, accepting a sponsor. It, yeah, yeah, definitely. So like, or if you're already sponsored, you know, if your writing's increasing or if you're like getting way more yeah. followers, you know what I mean? Like, you yeah, know, true. you can, yeah. you can always like just, yeah, just knowing your worth. Like, so there's, yeah, what you said, uh, a, a, spon a company hits you up and is like, yeah, we'll give you like, you know, a pair of pegs like a month and you're like got like 40,000 followers, you know, mm. you're going to be like, no, like I, give me a paycheck, yeah, you know, yeah, or, or whatever. Right, like a box deck. I don't even <laughs> use <those. laughs> Um, You know, and then, yeah, like as you, you know, start to progress, it's like, yeah, just, just know your worth and know like, you know, if you deserve more from a company or like, um, or don't, you know, aim too high. Don't be like asking Red Bull for a sponsorship if all you can do is double whip flat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm even chucking this in there, but I just thought of this as, as you were um, saying that about the pegs and stuff. <laughs> if you are sponsored and you're saying know your worth, so yeah, if you are sponsored, you're struggling to get what you think or know your worth from the company. Um, stop tagging them <laughs> and stop writing their parts and yeah. see what kind of reaction that gets. As yeah. one. If you've already gone about the other routes of trying to um, get a better yeah situation, yeah. Um, but also ask the company for more parts. And even be upfront with them, being like, "Yeah, I'm gonna sell these parts." Because mm. yeah. I, I just, man, companies just have stock, and it's like cost them a lot less than what it is worth to the end user. So yeah. a company could be like, "Oh yeah, here's your monthly thing. Also, here's a you know deck for you that you need. Here's two other decks, or a bunch of wheels, or a bunch of this, and like you know, yeah, um, yeah. Don't be afraid to ask your sponsor for just like more shit, yeah, and, the, and be upfront and saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna hustle this on the side because yeah. you're not giving me." 
enough money. They got nothing to lose by you selling their parts down at the skate yeah. park. More promotion for them. Yeah, for sure. Associate you with the brand more mm-hmm. to the local people. It might be easier yeah. to sell because the kids that are buying them are like, oh my god, I'm getting this part off so and so who yeah. rides for the brand. Cool, that's sick. Just a yeah, just a little life hack there. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'll be needing ten native decks. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, Keaton's got a yeah. hustle going at, at the moment um, on Gumtree and Facebook, He's moving some parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, marketplace. Uh, marketplace. Or just sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. Marketplace. I think that might be a conflict with Syndicate Store. But yeah. I have to, have to yeah. talk. Um, but yeah, I guess do I have a summary for this? Like the reality um, of sponsorship in my experience of the people I've sponsored there is like the honeymoon period of where you do like get sponsored and it's like oh my god this is like awesome and life-changing which uh it is life-changing if you get sponsored by (laughs) um and it's different for everyone but it gets to a certain amount of time where it's like okay this is this is just like normal life now and yeah some riders might be way like riding way more often than others and some not but it, it turns into um, just like normal life and so you have you have to make sure it is what you want and that it is going to integrate into your like normal life it's not you know they say like never not to meet your heroes yeah. and stuff yeah. like that it, this is like never never reach your goals <laughs> yeah because like, you know yeah. well, that's the thing about goals once you reach this goal you more, realize yeah. like this this ain't it like yeah that's this isn't what i actually wanted what i actually want is to be riding my scooters mm. filming video parts taking photos yeah. having fun posting it to the internet sharing it with everyone make sure that your goal is the right goal yeah you know even if you think your goal is sponsorship your true goals will be for yourself yeah not for anything external and i just want to touch on quickly a little the time um Lamborghini. Yeah, no. Uh, so what I was saying about know your worth and mm-hmm. then something you just mentioned, you know, you, your honeymoon period is all going good, but then, yeah. like, you know, you dip off, you don't, you're don't, you not riding as much and things like that. Yeah, like, yeah. know your worth. You know, if, if you're not riding much, like, expect the company be, to be give you less, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's a very you know, hard thing to it's measure. A, and, yeah, yeah, for sure. But, like, because I, I remember just as I started to get paid for Native is just as I started to ride a lot yeah, less. Back. And That's also something I've noticed over the years. <laughs> Not just you, but you know, there's the whole Sig deck. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Sig oh deck. for we'll sure. Have to touch on that in a whole. Yeah, but <laughs> so my, for, like you know, I couldn't go the second payment without being like Regan, like don't send me that second payment. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. just knew it in myself. Like you know, I would feel mm-hmm. so shit if you were if you paid me something else and I knew and I wasn't going to ride yeah. for the next month. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I know pe- certain people, and this it goes yeah it goes into integrity, you know who got the you know or like have received would take that and and yeah didn't sure. yeah uh give back anything yeah, you know what i mean so comfy with just like that being normal yeah for sure that can definitely happen with when you do reach your goal yeah and that can get complacent for sure that's our thoughts on the reality of sponsorship and it not being a million dollars in the bank account and a lamborghini in your mm. driveway by the end unless of the week. you like have a freak product like bull bars or MV Lambo Flat. wheels. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, and Bull bars who never got a cent before. Yeah, okay. They sold hundreds of thousands. Yeah, probably, yeah no, for sure. Uh, the end a better it. one would probably be Flavio Reapers. Reaper bar. Yeah, I didn't, I knew what Reaper bars were before I knew who Flavio was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's obviously a freak situation. 